This is a brief overview of the periodic table. You will be able to identify the symbols and properties of group 1 elements. Group 1 are the alkali metals. Alkali metals are extremely reactive and they must be stored in oil to prevent their reaction with air. Also, they react with water to explode violently. However, they're soft enough to be cut with a butter knife and they react with the halogens, which are group 7, to produce salts. And alkali metals have one valence electron. Group 1 of the periodic table is a group of reactive metals. Lithium, sodium and potassium are at the top. These metals are so reactive, they have to be stored under oil and need to be handled with care. Lithium is so soft, it can be cut with a knife. You can see how shiny the freshly cut surface is. But leave it exposed to the air for a few seconds and it quickly begins to tarnish. It's reacting with the air. This is sodium. It's even easier to cut, and again the shiny surface soon discolours. Potassium is even softer, and reacts so quickly it dishes immediately. Another way of comparing reactivity is to place the metals in water. Lithium floats. It reacts immediately, fizzing and skating around on the water, which is evidence that a gas is being produced. By carefully putting a tiny amount into a boiling tube, the gas can be tested with a lit splint. A squeaky pop means it's hydrogen. Universal indicator shows that at the end of the reaction, the solution is alkaline. Lithium reacts with water to form lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. So how does sodium react? Again, it floats on the water and fizzes. The gas produced is hydrogen. And the solution is alkaline. When sodium reacts with water, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen are formed. Sodium is more reactive than lithium. It's below lithium in the periodic table. Potassium is below sodium. So, how would you expect potassium to behave? Potassium is definitely more reactive than sodium and lithium. It reacts immediately, and the hydrogen produced ignites on its own. Universal indicator goes blue. Potassium reacts with water to form potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. Rubidium and cesium are elements which lie below potassium in the periodic table. How would you expect rubidium and cesium to react with water? Now to help me remember the names and symbols for the elements, I come up with a mnemonic. Now a mnemonic is a short phrase that helps me remember the thing that it refers to. So for group one, the mnemonic that I'm going to use is Lewis normally knows random chemistry facts. And here's how it helps me remember group one. Lewis normally Knows random 
chemistry, facts. And as you can see, the first letter of each word of the mnemonic corresponds to the atomic symbol of an element in group one. So if you can remember the mnemonic, then you can easily remember the atomic symbols. You will be able to identify the symbols and properties of group two elements. The group two elements are called the alkaline earth metals. They're reactive, but not as reactive as the alkaline metals. They're a lot harder than the alkaline metals, uh, and they're shiny and silvery white. And importantly, they also react with halogens, group 7, to produce salts. The alkaline earth metals have two valence electrons. My mnemonic for group 2 is Brenda made Chris stop being rude. You will be able to identify the symbols and properties of group 7 elements. The group 7 elements are the halogens. The halogens are nonmetals and they're found in seawater. They are the most reactive of all the nonmetals. The halogens react with group 1 and group 2 elements to produce salts. And halogens also have 7 valence electrons. The mnemonic that I use for group 7 is fire can burn in August. You will be able to identify the symbols and properties of group 8 elements. The group 8 elements are the noble gases. The noble gases are completely unreactive. They do not form chemical compounds except in very rare cases. The noble gases have eight valence electrons, and since they have that full octet, those eight valence electrons, that is the reason why they are so unreactive. Now, our mnemonic for group eight is hungry ninjas always kill extra rabbits. 